Hey guys, how's it going? Well, today it's actually not too bad. It's a little bit warmer than it was uh, last week, but it's not bad. It's colder than it was yesterday, which is unfortunate because I'm deciding to try and bake cookies in my car. So you see right here, I've got the cookies all laid out on the dashboard. And what I'm gonna do is I need to leave for work in like four hours. Um, I came from work and I need to go back in about four hours. So I'm leaving this in there for about two or three hours to try and bake these cookies on my car dashboard. It's about 95 degrees, not as hot as it normally gets here in Texas, but I wanna see if this works. So I'm gonna keep you guys along on the ride. And if I had a fancy time-lapse camera, then I would leave that in there so you could watch cookies bake. I don't have a time-lapse camera, which is awful. I wish I had one, I should get one, shouldn't I? Comment below if you think I should get a time-lapse camera and make cool videos like that. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna bake these cookies and I'm gonna eat them later, hopefully, and I'm not gonna get salmonella, fingers crossed. So here's what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna leave it for right now, and then I'm gonna come back in about two hours, or I'll come back in about an hour and a half, I'll check on them, and I'll come back in about two hours, and I'll come back in about three hours, and we'll see if these guys are baked and ready to eat. Hopefully they are. And uh, yeah, you guys get to see if it actually works, if you can definitely bake cookies in your car if you live in Texas. If you live in like Minnesota, I don't know. We'll see. Try it out. If you live in Minnesota, give it a shot. But if you live in Texas, it'll probably work. I have a good, good feeling because I was in my car for like 10 minutes and I was like, <gasps> like I took a deep breath through my nose and all the hairs on my nose just burned. So like legitimately they caught fire and burned off. So yeah, it gets pretty hot in there. Anyway, I will come back in just a little while and you guys will see how the cookies have progressed during this time. So it's been an hour and 45 minutes and uh, the cookies have definitely flattened out. They're definitely, here, I'll go in this angle. They're flattened out and they're gooey looking. Real gooey looking. So what I'm gonna do is, um, is I'm gonna put my timer on my phone. This is what I used. There's a dog in that car, that was cute. Anyway, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set the timer for another hour and 45 minutes and uh, see if at that point these guys will be, you know, actually cooked and set and not just piles of goo. I hope they actually bake. I hope they don't just end up looking like this because that would be really disappointing. Um, yeah, so I'll check in with you guys in another hour and a half or hour 45 minutes, something like that, okay? And I'll let you know exactly how it goes. I'll give you one more shot of the cookies here so you can see how gooey they are. And that's that. Coming in on about three hours here, and I'm getting kind of worried because, I mean, I don't know what you guys think, but I think it looks like they look like piles of goo. Like they're just, they don't look like they're setting. Ah, that's hot. Uh, they don't look like they're setting right. They look like they're just kind of drooping and everywhere, and ugh. yeah, they look all gooey. So, I don't know, because I gotta leave for work in like 20 minutes or something like that. So, I really hope that these are gonna work out. And I'd be really disappointed if they didn't. Cause I wanted a cookie, you know? I, I'm not gonna eat, well I might, I might eat that. I, I would eat that, probably. Anyway, so I guess I'm gonna wait another 20 minutes until it's actually time for me to leave for work and then from there I'm gonna, just that's, that's what I got. Maybe I'll put them in the oven or something to finish them off. Um, yeah, I'll show you guys in another 20 minutes. Okay, so it's six o'clock. I really, really have to leave for work, but um, these uh, the cookies look like this, so they're not too bad. You know, I say they're not, they're not terrible. They could be worse. Let me just see. Now that I've opened the door, I can't, can't close the heat back in. Oh, it smells delicious in here, though. And let me just see how the cookies are doing. Let me see. Is this metal hot? That metal's very hot. Okay, so if I poke it, it's still a little bit squishy. Just a little. Um, but I'm gonna bring them inside, and if I want to finish doing this, then we're gonna have to put it in the uh, in the oven. So I'm just gonna grab this really quick. And there they are. There are my cookies, my car cookies. And uh, I think they're edible. I just I'm not not too sure how I can eat them if I can't get them off the paper. But I'm gonna put these inside, and I'm gonna leave for work, and maybe I'll cook them a little bit more. But yeah, if you want to make cookies in your car, they'll come out something like that. I say not too, too terrible. Anyway, I will talk to you guys later. I really got to go, but uh, I hope you enjoyed this video of cookie card making. Yeah, that didn't make sense. Talk to you later.